Hi, welcome to another episode of Bolensburg Blurbs. I am very excited to reconnect with Deborah Goodwin. Hi, Deborah. Hi, how you doing, Julia? Good. So, Deborah, you and I are just chatting, and I think it's really interesting that there is a misconception about the river towns where you are based. Tell me a little bit about what people think about river towns and what the reality is. Um, I think that a lot of people that are living in the city think once they um, leave the city, it's very quiet, there's nothing going on, a very remote, kind of sparse lifestyle. But it's not like that in the river towns. You know, we're just north of the city, right up the Hudson River. So it's beautiful, it's picturesque. Um, we have some excellent sought after school systems, excellent restaurants, um, farmers markets festivals. There's, there's a definite um, lifestyle up here. And one of the things that people really love um, are the paths, the woods, the different parks that we have access to, the old Croton Aqueduct, which takes you from one end of, of um, the river towns to the other. Um, there's many waterfront parks and waterfront paths as well. So it makes for a really wonderful lifestyle. Terrific. Uh, some favorite restaurants you want to call out so that people are visiting? Yes, um, um, I love the Red Hat, which is right on the river. So you can sit there right along the river and have a wonderful dinner or lunch. Um, I love uh, the parlor in Dobbs Ferry is a great little pizza place. Um, on uh, Main Street in Irvington, uh, Mima is really good. And in Terrytown, there are a lot of good restaurants in Terrytown as well. Along the river, there's um, Harvest, uh, which is actually in Hastings, but uh, in Terrytown, um, there's the River Market, which is actually excellent as well. So those are just a few of the many. Nice, I might check. Yeah. Deborah, I know that you've been helping people buy and sell residential real estate for 13 years. Can you tell us what are the towns you cover in the Rivertown area? My main towns would be starting closest to the city would be Hastings, um, then a little bit further north to Dobbs Ferry, Irvington, Terrytown, Sleepy Hollow, and Ardsley. Those are the main what are considered the river towns. And what it is, is once you buy in one of those towns, you're, you're going to usually utilize all of the towns. They're all connected. Um, each town has like one elementary school, one middle school, one high school. So the school systems are relatively small. Um, and the, there's a lot of overlap because they are small little villages. You will utilize those different towns like you would sort of one big um, like city, basically. Sounds like a nice community. Yeah. How good. far commute is it to the city typically? So it's about, uh, I would say it's about a 45 to 55 minute commute from um, the uh, train commute into Grand Central. It depends on if you catch an express train or not. It depends on if you, um, how, if you're in Hastings versus, say, Sidley Hollow. But it's roughly 45 to 55 minutes. And then to drive, um, you would just take the Sawmill Parkway. It connects to the Henry Hudson Parkway. With no t no traffic, you could be in the city in 25 minutes. Oh wow! Uh, so That's it is pretty close. Mm -hmm. uh, and and there are a lot of people that do drive commute, and but of course there are a lot of train commuters as well. Yes, and of course, the way we work has changed significantly. I know that there are many people who only be coming in two days a week, so that's not a bad commute if you're only doing it two days no, a week. No, exactly, exactly. And that is one of the things that has affected the real estate in this area because people, um, ironically, we one of the greatest features of uh, the river towns was that it was such an easy commute, such a close commute. Now that um, the people are actually working from home more, they're not as concerned about the commute. So some of the northern parts of Westchester, the real estate there has really um, seen uh, an increase in sales and even an increase in prices just because of that phenomenon. Well, let's talk a little bit about the market. What is going on? What's availability like, pricing, and what can people expect to get for their money? What is the typical housing stock like? Well, we range, our average price point would say be maybe around 800, 900,000, maybe a, around a 3,000 square foot house or a little bit less than that. Mm -hmm. um, we also go up to as high as say $4 million. And um, the, on the other end of the spectrum, um, there are homes that you can buy a small co-op, two bedroom, one bathroom co-op 
in say in the Irvington School District for under 300,000. So some some people, you know, we, we have a very varied inventory. Um, right now, there's not a lot of inventory. Um, there is a high demand, um, but people are still being, they're fairly particular. Um, the biggest driver for um, getting a, a great price on your house is really to have it in turnkey condition. People don't want to do any work. Um, especially yeah. now, they don't want people in their homes working on their homes. Um, some of the higher end, say two million plus, three million plus, it's a, it's a slow market in some ways for those homes. Um, even though you get a terrific property, a two or three million dollar home is probably going to be close to 6,000 6, square feet or more. Um, the taxes are probably going to be between 60 and 90. It just depends on, on the price of the home, the, what's the assessed value of that home. So taxes are a big factor in what you can buy. The, but the upside of that is that you have excellent school systems and a lot of people come here because of the school systems. And so you don't have to deal with private school um, costs, which you do in, in Manhattan. You have a beautiful listing right now, that mid-century classic beauty. Oh, I saw that online. Oh, the, um, the Matheson Park? Oh, gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it is a beautiful listing, yeah. Really it's special. Beautiful. Yes, that part of Irvington is particularly special and it has beautiful river views. It's a beautiful property. Okay, anybody's looking. So we're coming into fall, you know, um, the leaves will change. It'll be beautiful up there. Are there any outdoor festivals that are still taking place? There should be. I mean, we ha a lot of them will be changed, but there are a lot of, um, especially around the time of Halloween. Of course, you can walk the Rockefeller parks and preserves. Um, there's a great place called Stone Barns, and Stone Barns is a great place to walk and hike. So because they are outdoors, maybe some of the people will, they'll have limited attendance, but in general, the parks are, are all pretty much open. Um, there are some, like I said, Halloween events. Um, I'm not quite sure yet how any of those will be restricted, but there'll definitely be, there'll be some version of those because many of those, like, like you said, are, are all outdoors. That's great. Deborah, I'm so glad we had a chance to visit today. It's really good to see you again. Oh, it's great to see you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. It's a pleasure. So if you're looking in the River Towns or want to learn more about it, uh, let me connect you to Deborah and you will be in excellent hands. Deborah, have a great day and thanks for joining me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye-bye.